So I have promised a video on how to make gravy. Um, I'm cooking chicken fried steak here, but I'm going to do a, a hamburger gravy um, with it. Just not not a, not very much. I have a little bowl here of hamburger. You don't need very much. It's just kind of for the flavor. So crumble this into the pan like so. Have a little bit of salt here. And it's okay if you use too much because it's going to flavor the gravy. Um, and the gravy can kind of be lacking in flavor. So let that cook for a second. It shouldn't take very long to cook the meat down. Then I'm going to come over here and uh, take a spoon or two full of the oil and add it to the and add it to the hamburger just so I have a thicker, I have a little more flavor of the gravy. And the chicken fried steak, I didn't have normal oil, so I just used olive oil and it seems to be working just fine. So just a few spoonfuls of the oil in there. Making a mess here. <laughs> Okay, we have the hamburger about cooked here. Uh, let's see here, I think it needs a little bit more oil. So it's sticking to the bottom a little bit. So over here is the flour that I use for the, for the chicken fried steak to dedge it in. So I'm just gonna use some of this flour here just for flavor, because I already have it seasoned. And I know that's not gonna be enough flour, so I have a little extra in a cup here. And you just kind of, I don't really do measurements, so you just have to play it by ear and, and mix it around until it soaks up all the oil. You see those bubbles? You don't want those bubbles. You want to try to get it as much soaked up as possible. Now, I used a little too much flour, but it'll be alright still. Because when I add the milk, it'll... See, and that, that's about the right consistency for it. It's a little thicker than most would like it, but it'll work. Then I also have the milk I dredged in, which there's a little bit of that in there. Waste not, need not. So I'm adding some milk to this. You just kind of add it to the thickness that you want it. And you mix it around until all the flour, until the milk absorbs all the flour. Keep adding milk as you go. And over here, we gotta turn these, this pretty thing. And that is how you make gravy. And you just keep stirring it until the flour is all absorbed and you get to the thickness that you want. You can have it as runny as you want or as thick as you want until it's. And that is how you make gravy. Very simple. Good luck, people.